Tonight, authorities in Amsterdam warning of plans for another night of rioting. Oh my God. One day after dozens of people smashed the windows of this tram, setting off fireworks on board while some of them screamed cancer Jews in Dutch. The tram, which was empty at the time of the attack, left shuttered and charred. Dutch authorities say three people were detained in connection to the attack. The unrest coming just days after an attack on Israeli soccer fans who were in the city for a match between Amsterdam's Ajax and Maccabi Tel Aviv last week. I got a punch in my face, in my lip. Um, it was organized. After the match, Dutch officials say people on scooters sought out Israelis, punching them and kicking them. What we've seen uh, this weekend of the anti-Semitic attacks against Israelis and Jews uh, are nothing short of shocking and reprehensible. On Monday, the city's police chief said there had been incidents on both sides, starting the day before the game. Israeli fans seen on video chanting, death to Arabs. Ole, ole. And this Palestinian flag was ripped down. Authorities saying Israeli fans were also seen walking towards the city's red light district. They say some had taken off their belts and attacked a taxi, other taxis were also vandalized. According to Amsterdam's mayor, 62 people were arrested in connection to the violence surrounding the game, including 10 Israeli citizens. In a letter to the city council, the mayor calling the attacks a toxic cocktail of anti-Semitism, football hooliganism and anger over the war in Palestine and Israel and other parts of the Middle East. Tonight, the capital city remains under strict emergency orders, with protests banned until Thursday. With police detaining those who defy the order as the city remains on edge. On Tuesday evening, Amsterdam's main square looked calm, but this is where everyday pro-Palestinian protesters gather despite the protest ban. Now all eyes are also in, on Paris, where on Thursday, the Israeli national soccer team will play France. Tom? Okay, Claudio, we thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.